Hi, it's Max Graham with another studio quick tip. Today is a really simple, oldest trick in the book, which is side chaining bass. Well, you can really side chain anything, but I'll show you how to do it. I've set up here a kick and a bass line, a really simple one, to show how you can compress the bass as the kick happens. And you can use this on strings, you can use it on white noise. It's been made really famous by people like Daft Punk. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book. So let's give it a listen. Here's the kick and the bass line by itself. Now what I did was grouped the bass line to a group called bass. And then if I turn on the compressor with the side chain, you'll hear the difference. Now the only two settings I really play with are threshold and release. I'll show you that in a minute. So here's how you set it up. You turn on side chain, set it to come from the kick. And I like to set it to pre-effects. That way if I mute the kick, say in a four beat fill or a mini breakdown, then the compressor will continue to sidechain whatever signals I've sent through it. Whereas if you set it to post mixer and then you mute it, it doesn't work. So make sure you set it to pre-FX. Now you can play with the release or the threshold and that's really a personal taste. The bass line I like to do a little bit faster but a string you want the string to pump on the offbeat so it might be like a 50 millisecond or 55, 60 millisecond release. Totally up to you, totally your personal taste based on the sound that you're doing and you can hear it right away as you pull it. You'll get that vibe that you want by playing with the threshold and the release. So that's how side chaining is done. It's the oldest trick in the book, super simple. I hope this helps and I'll see you back here soon for another studio quick tip.